Is it allowed to do a Hajj or the Umrah, getting, um, lending a money from the credit card finance? Uh, the funds that is being loaned from the credit card or the lending of money for Umrah or Hajj from the business loan, student loan or the credit card and also there is something to understand something when the bank issues the credit card they issue some type of an limit like it could be a 5,000, 10,000, 20, 50 or 100,000 they issue the limit that also beside the credit limit they also issue a something which is called a credit card checks what happens many uh, people does that they use the checks to cash the funds from the credit card limit because the bank issues the half of the credit card they can be used for uh, uh, purchasing goods and also the second which is like a credit card checks which is the half of the credit card that checks can be cashed and that funds many people use that for their businesses for everything and even in 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 a uh, different matters so the type of the debt funding is also involved uh, into the the business of uh, involvement in a in an interest base that Hajj is not accepted and not even a sadka, as I mentioned earlier the the sadka is not accepted or any good deed is not accepted used from the interest so many people come to an argument that if they if they are uh, making a payment on time let not let us understand this point many people uh, get the credit card and they give the justification answer like for example uh, they get the credit card and they give the payment on time and they, the bank will not interest the bank will not charge an interest money uh, to the buyer and uh, but now let's go back a little bit if you look at the credit card and agreement now uh, let's come to the hadith where the prophet says anyone uh who is doing an evil who is doing a bad and who is helping in a bad and who is writing a paper or anything everybody involved into the same category of doing something what is forbidden from the quran and the sunnah now let's go back to the credit card now in the credit card and agreement there's an agreement like uh if you accept this term and if you do not make a payment on this one and you're gonna get charged this interest and that interest now example now what is that contract that contract is basically an interest based contract this is what the hadith says that any type of involvement in something uh, interest based like if somebody is taking a riba or giving a riba or involving in that and somebody helping that somebody is writing a contract somebody is supplying or everybody involved in the same category now same thing uh, when people sign a credit card and agreement that once uh, the payment will not be reached on time they will charge uh, interest now now this is the point to be understand a person who signed the agreement they are accepting by heart that they are going to pay an interest now this is not something they will pay or not pay but they are signing a contract that that we are ready to pay an interest to the bank if we do not make a payment on time and the interest will be charged to the credit card now this is something what is totally a beginning of a haram this is the beginning of haram like signing a contract and they, it, it doesn't matter if uh, if they make a payment on time or not but signing a contract which is something involved uh, interest is a haram so when going to the hajj or the umrah with the with the certified checks of the the half of the credit card which is like the bank issues that somebody can cash it and they can use it for some other purposes is totally forbidden in islam that hajj and umrah is not accepted because maybe they can justify themselves that this is accepted similarly any person who does uh, Hajj and Umrah with the haram money, with the cheating money in the businesses, in a job or whatever the people doing, the, the risk has to be very halal and then you can go to Allah, that Hajj is accepted, even regardless whoever can justify themselves that we have done so many Hajjs, we have done so many Umrahs, maybe their money has been uh, involved gambling, the money is involved riba, it could be a cheating or it could be a fraud or anything they are just justifying themselves because from allah by the prophet this is not accepted they're just like justifying themselves